Welcome to Gameplay Encounters with your uh, Nintendo Engineers host, Chris Tysis. And before we actually do actual live broadcasts, we are going back into the vault um, just to rehash some old content that, you know, might help me out. Um, we're going to be rehashing the two-hour gameplay of Xenoblade Chronicles X, my favourite Wii U game, I would say. Um, yes, I know Breath of the Wild is there, but... It's really a Switch title. But uh, it was my favourite game on it. Do check it out. Uh, this is just a short introduction. But yes, it was a fantastic game. Um, this was taken, oh my god, like two, three years ago now. So do check it out uh, for this gameplay encounter. Welcome to Nintendo Ninja News. The day has come. Xenoblade Chronicles X has arrived. We are so happy. It's not funny. So, uh, we are going into this cold turkey. Absolutely cold turkey here. So, um, this is going to be... Uh, this was a massive game to install, uh, 20 gig including a software update. So, um, it's going to be uh, a lot of fun. Um, Xenoblade uh, Chronicles X has been a long-awaited game for many fans of the series, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, we've been very uh, pleased about all the previews and reviews. Uh, lots of uh, fantastic reviews that the game has received. So, um, <clears throat> it's interesting that it's got the Nintendo eShop. And uh, you have displays and menus. Jeez, there's a lot of... Um, sort of... Uh, bits and pieces here, isn't it? So, it's fantastic. This is, um, looking great. Um, uh, the brightness. I don't know. Okay, yeah, okay. Here we go.
That's impressive. Welcome to Xenobay Chronicles. We are at the character creation. He's going to be a male. Yeah, we can do that. the most customization I've ever seen in my life.
the next time. So that took a little longer than expected, but um, that was a really interesting, um, the level of detail, even in the character selection, is something that I haven't really seen on a Nintendo game before. Nice and slow, okay? Your senses will need time to react. Your pot is the only one around that landed intact. Good thing I found it. My name's Elma. You want to tell me yours? I guess this is when I'll tell her my name. You don't even remember your oh. own name? There you go. It must be the stasis hangover. That's not good. Just try, Just and, try and focus, focus alright? Um, we're just at the beginning of this game. Here we go. Good, there, Good, there we go. <laughs> what else do you want? I should be a writer. Oh, no, wait, I am. It'll come. In the meantime, I'll, I'll get you up to speed here as best I can. How are your limbs? How are your limbs? Can you move? Can you move? Take 
You'll take it easy while you shake the stasis out of your system. One step at a time, all right? First things first. You'll be needing a weapon. There you go. All right, let's get going. Gonna follow me? Of course she is. Ooh. Another pod. Most of the white whale's life pods didn't survive the crash, like this one. You're one of the lucky few. Right. You don't even remember the white whale, do you? You know, the L002? The ship we escaped Earth on? You remember Earth, right? Planet Earth. Your home world. Or rather, it used to be anyway. Unfortunately, it was caught in a battle between two alien forces and destroyed. It's one memory I'd like to forget. This is quite as Link from the Legend of Zelda, isn't he? He's been following me for a while now. Didn't want to alarm you, but we're going to need to defend ourselves. You up to the task? Plenty of work back in the city for someone who knows how to handle a weapon, you know. Then you're interested. In that case, I might have just the job for you. But anyway, we can talk more details later. For now, let's keep moving. Treasure dropped. <laughs> Good action, successful. So, sometimes there's a few things you can do here and there, but the world is just massive. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Your tank. Level 1's and level 2. Mm. Can you... 
five times. And we're moving around. Just, I'm, I'm one of those people, um, you know, I've, I've played a lot of Skyrim in terms of open worlds and that. And I just enjoy, um, just... Alright, well, let's feel this. Was successful. Mm. Just the, the the artwork and the graphics looks just beautiful, doesn't it? Quite impressed by it all. The rain's starting to let up. Just in time for sunrise. Follow me. Follow me. I promise, I promise you're gonna, you're gonna, love, gonna love this. Hmm. I'm well, not too sure about that. Indigenous, or as far as we can tell. We need to learn to play nice with these guys if we're going to try and coexist together. Oh, wow. This is great. It's impressive that this is done on the Wii U. Wow. We call this planet Mira. You won't find it on any star chart. But it's our new home. Recognize the habitat unit? That's where we're headed. Watch yourself. That first step's a doozy. 
We can jump if you like. You can handle the fall. But the indigents down there are another story. Some big, some mean, all nasty. Given our options, the high road here would be the safer way to go, relatively speaking. That said, whichever way you want to go, I'll follow your lead. You decide. Oh, decisions. Pick up the pace and start sprinting. Sprinting is good for times when you need to get somewhere in a hurry or we need to break out of things. Especially hairy situation. Auto run, okay. Let's do this. Oh, I think we're going to... Whoa, what's this? Aerial cam. It's interesting. Sir, sir. Levels two and three. Fantastic. Nice Where are we? Level two? I don't know. Oh, I missed. I died. That was disappointing. Ah, uh, wow. Division level 2, rank 3. It's just a lot of... Details, man. And we're all the way back here. That's disappointing.
Try to avoid certain mod that level four is not gonna be fun to play again. Rank four. Okay. Saving uh, content for now. Oh. Interesting. So let's have the game settings at the moment. Just trying to do something with the settings here because I, I zoomed out, um, which is which is silly. Um, which is a bit silly. So, um, oh, it's starting to rain now.
just wait for us to recover. Because uh, that's never very good, isn't it? Push our way around here. The Westgate Plain. Here we go. off now for security reasons, but we've repurposed a freight elevator that will get us in outside. Not really. Don't really want to deal with this much stuff. Done. It's a shame we had to settle near so much wildlife. Luckily, some species aren't so hostile, but they aren't necessarily friendly either. I've come to learn that there's a fine line between self defense and provoking a fight. We need to walk that line. All right, let's head in. Who knows, maybe seeing me inside will jog your memory. I don't normally talk much during um, sort of gameplay stuff, especially like this, because I think um, people just like to, to look at the game and what it's like and that, so it's... Um, fantastic just the scope of this game let's turn around it's huge isn't it Just have been woken up after all that time. I'm sure you're dying to get home and take a shower. Unfortunately, the west gate is closed at the moment. If you want to enter the city, you will need to use the elevator at the top of the stairs. I'll probably open the gate soon, thanks to the great work you guys did killing the monsters that were causing all that trouble. Okay, please understand. <laughs> a little bit of a water in there.
It's got weather, it's got time, it's just all these great little things. And that is the entire world out there. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Just looking at all that. Um, I'm surprised that this is has has been done on the Wii U. So that's um quite amazing. So really, really happy. Still trying to work out the um the camera height. I don't think the change is even making any difference, is it? Open Pro some five out of five, Chris. Achievement unlocked. Wow. Even achievements too. Let's listen in to this next part of the game. survivor came to join our band of refugees. Together, we resolved to forge a new way of life here on New York. New LA is a beautiful lie to ourselves. Wow, it's, it, it is pretty much an, an entire world inside the spaceship. to keep living in order to see it. Impressive beginning, isn't it? Uh, there's, there's just so much to take in, and I think that's that's going to be the tricky part. 
um, of this game is trying to take in all this information, especially having played the last game. Um, um, I did buy this uh, from the eShop, so loading will be a little quicker. Probably much quicker. How about a quick tour of the facilities to refresh your memory? I would like Let's to do that. the gentleman there. Director General in just a few weeks. At this rate, he'll be Emperor by next month. Excuse the guy on the left, looks a bit strange. Nice work out there, man. Three of us were in the Coalition forces together, specifically the Special Operations Heavy Armor Training Unit, aka the Skeleton Crew. I was a colonel and Arena a lieutenant. Gwyn was a more recent recruit. Of course, I keep telling them we don't need those old ranks anymore now that we're here. You're still Colonel Kamino. No reorg will ever change that. And that's not about chain of command either. It's about respect. You've earned it. Won the award for best ass kick, Skilly Q. Well, I'd remind you both the mans aren't necessary if I thought you'd listen. Is one of the survivors, ma'am? The survivor. I only found a single pod intact at Starfall Basin. Wait, what? What happened to ten more crew members? It's uh, pretty interesting, isn't it? Responders never mm. want to let the truth get in the way of a good speech. Still, Still every, every last survivor counts. counts. You can call me Arena. I'm with the Interceptors. Me too. Same position. You can call me Mr. X. Or just Gwyn. All right, ma'am. We should be getting back to work. Until next time. Colonel. Right. We should be going, too. The administrative district isn't far. That's where you'll be calling home. For now, anyway. It's very interesting, isn't it? Had the audio, game audio down very low, but um, I think the visuals is uh, the amazing thing. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't understand this rap music in this. This is really strange. Really? Hey. I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck I'm going. Hey!
right these things. Hey! Look, I know what exhaust smells like, and it was exhaust in the cockpit. Just check the ductwork, would you? Oh, I'm checking. I just seriously doubt... Hey, look at that. The intake exhaust bypass is reversed. Oh, man, it's a good thing I caught that. You caught that? You're the one who cleared me to fly. Everything okay? It's not like you to flub a flight check, Lynn. Good thing you had a rugged pilot like Doug at the controls. Oh, hey, Elma. How'd it go out there? And would this be one of the you-know-whos? Cool. I'm Lin Lee Koo, mechanic and top all-around fix-it gal for Blade. Hmm. How should I look? Ah. <clears throat> uh... She's 13, and I know, she looks young, and she is young, but trust me, she's one of our top They're talents. Saying, most of the time, that is. Most of the time. Hey. So I can't say that she looks pretty. You guys heading back to the too young. Yeah, why do you ask? As long as you're here, why don't I take you on the transport? It's a great way to see the city. I'll give you the grand tour. That sounds like a great idea. All right, Doug, I think that'll be all for today. You can clean up here and dock the scale. What? Don't mind the exhaust. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Don't mind it? Wait, why am I cleaning up your mess in the first place? Lynn! Lynn! Oh, she doesn't care. Oh. Oh. Chill Trooper level 5, level 5, uh, I'm level 4, I'm a drifter, oh, okay. 
Statues of just, look at all these these different um, stats in that defense, range accuracy, attacks, resistances. There's so much um, info um, that you're gonna look at. Uh, primary gear, all sorts of uh, pieces, artillery uh, shields. Skills, none at the moment. Soul voices. Uh, that's this is just something that I have to learn. So yeah, just. and uh, we're just about touching on the hour mark. I do apologise if the audio was very light um, for quite a while, but. Um, I, I think the main thing here for this, this really long video is to give you an idea of what this game is about. It's just, it's beautiful, it does the job well. Um, achievement unlocked. Are not, and Nintendo fans are not used to achievements or trophies on our consoles. Let's have a listen to this console. Walking, that's for sure. The best way to see NLA. I never get tired of this view. It's like a different city every time. It's certainly come a long way in the last few weeks. But there's still so much to be done. One day at a time. Speaking of which, we don't really have time for a full pleasure cruise here. Why don't you give us the express tour, Lynn? Just the highlights. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> New LA is divided into four districts. We departed from the industrial district, where Duck and I were conducting the flight test. It has food production, skill development, you know, industries and stuff. It's also where the West Gate is located, remember? Expect to pass through there fairly often. The only other gate out of the city is in the administrative district. I'm skipping ahead. <clears throat> Next is the commercial district. Restaurants, galleries, cafes, clothing, groceries, you name it. It's a veritable shopping paradise. The CD is the closest thing to a downtown we've got. It can actually get pretty crowded sometimes. Well, by NLA standards. Day or night, the best and only bargains on the planet. To your right, the residential district. Housing, housing, and more housing. Well, plus a nice park and the cathedral. You know, uh, I didn't know how large this game would be until you see the scope and, and the background scene. That's the spot. Right? The level park is detail. my favorite place to just zone out and really amazing. This is this is definitely yeah, minimal not hundred our destination, the yeah. administrative district, the nerve center at the heart of NLA. Note the distinct dual level structure here. It's the sixty the upper percent level of our administrative tower. What I like to know. The Blade HQ and the government, not to mention Armory Alley as well as the barracks where we live. The lower level there is a hangar complex for skell maintenance and repair. I want the skell now. I want to fly them. And this concludes our tour. We will be landing shortly. Thanks, Lynn. We'll save the rest of orientation for once we're back at the barracks.
Enjoy your stay in the administrative district, and thank you for flying Linley Airlines. Right. Let's get you over to the barracks. Then I should file my report. They'll be eager to hear the details on how I found you, I'm sure. Well then, we'd better not keep them waiting. The barracks are pretty close, actually. They're set up just behind the giant blade tower here. I got this feeling I'm gonna get lost that in this road game there wraps easily. around the left side and leads right to it. We'll pass through Armory Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? We can check it out later. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh. What is it? Sir. Here's what I know. The officers are aware that not all the new allies citizens are involved with Director General Chasen's policies. The more our ideas look to slave us, the grim our situation will become. Reality. Let's look at uh, <laughs> at a shop. Well. Let's continue onwards. So these are different shop lines. Working hard. And here we are, the Blade Barracks. Consider yourself our guest until we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. I think I can answer that one. So, who must be the latest rescue? Secretary Nagi! Ms. Kuhn. Chipper is always, I see. What can I say? Pep is my middle name. I ran into Doug Barrett on the way here, and he didn't seem quite so upbeat. Anything about today's flight I should know? No. Nothing to worry about. Good. Be sure it stays that way. More importantly, Elma, you found another one. Excellent work out there. Just doing my job, Mr. Secretary. Now, as for officially registering our new citizen here... Why don't we talk inside? There's a lot of ground to cover. It could take some time. Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. You must be weary from the stasis and your journey back to us. Please, after you. I'll put on some tea. Ah, tea. Let's hope it's Earl Grey tea. It's my favourite. This 
just so much to take in in this game. Quite a lot. Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Kentaro Nagi. You may remember me as Captain of the White Whale, but now I serve as Secretary of Defense here for New L.A. The Provisional Government has charged me with keeping the peace, so all military and police matters fall under my jurisdiction. He's also my superior officer. And he'd be an excellent person to talk to when you're ready to start looking for work. So he's the boss. What about a job right here with Blade? He seems capable. Let's give it a little more time. At least until he knows enough to be able to make an informed decision. He seems to be suffering from some form of memory loss. Memory loss? From the stasis? He could barely remember his name. And nothing at all about what happened to Earth or the White Whale. I see. Though, come to think of it. The entire lot of us have only been on this planet for, what, two months? It shouldn't take very long to get caught up. My thoughts exactly. Well then, where should we begin? Blade is an acronym. Builders of a legacy after the destruction of Earth. Quite fitting, I think. It's a relatively new organization. Up there in space, we had plenty of provisions and a crew trained to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. But of course, all that changed after we lost most of our ship and came crashing down here on Mira. We needed food, water, search and rescue teams, surveyors, police. The list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own. So Blade was born. The idea was to have one central organization with different disciplines to fill these various roles. Its core was pulled from the coalition military, so it's mostly former soldiers. But fighting isn't our most important duty. Right now we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. The search for and recovery of the life hold. Take a look at this. The White Whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers, all of them held in stasis. All housed in a structure called the Life Hold. This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers, and of course, some military so we could defend ourselves if necessary. But the vast majority were in the life hold, are in the life hold. With any luck, they're all still there, in stasis, waiting to be rescued. But there's a problem. We now know the life hold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we came down on Mira. What we don't know is exactly where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. Blade's top priority now is locating the missing units. It's gonna be a tough mission. <coughs> it started at the end, two years ago. The end of Earth. The casualty of a battle between two hyper-advanced alien civilizations. I do enjoy these cutscenes. They're quite well. Their technology and weapons were beyond our comprehension. We were like infants, naked, powerless. The Earth was reduced to ash and blown away. Horrible. I still wonder if I hadn't been there. Maybe all of this could have somehow been avoided. No one can know that, Elma. What we do know is without you, there'd have been no Project Exodus and no escape for any of us. Did it go perfectly? No. But we are here and we are alive. 
We survived. <laughs> so yes, Project Exodus. Once we learned the Earth might be threatened, we needed a plan to preserve all her various life forms. That plan was the Earth Life Colonization Project, otherwise known as Project Exodus. Those of us who escaped on the White Whale spent over two years wandering in space. Two hard years. But we clung to our mission, find a habitable planet and settle there. We had no idea how long it would take. Or that the decision would eventually be made for us. The Xenoforms found us again and, well, it wasn't a happy reunion. Earth wasn't enough. They wanted humanity destroyed. For better and for worse, we were close to planet Mira when we lost control of the White Whale. Inertia and gravity took it from there. The ship had taken way too much damage to survive entering the atmosphere intact. We had no choice. We channeled all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. Once the dust cleared, we set to work transforming it into its current state. Searching for survivors, establishing Blade, installing the provisional government. Basically, making it a sustainable city. I'm gonna question now. Ah, uh, yes. All citizens of NLA are required to register their name, age, and occupation. We also ask you report any personal assets and take a short survey regarding your current state of health. All purely as a precaution. I'm sure you understand. As the caretakers of humanity's survival, we all have certain responsibilities. And hey, it's not all bad. Registering gets you access to all kinds of public services. Ooh, public services. In any case, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. Yes, it is. You'll be wanting some time. Ms. Koo, even I'm tired of hearing myself speak. Why don't you take our guest out for some air? Perhaps a tour of the administrative district. Yes, sir. Come on, we'll keep this briefing brief. All right. Five thousand gold could be used as a different name. We're in the administration area. You know, it's not every day we're authorized to let a civilian tour the administrative district. Yeah. Nagi must really, really want him to join Blade. The AD is a bit different from the other districts. It's got everything a Blade would need, all in one place, without any extra fluff. Get a load of that scale. Even the way that they walk is so cool. Turned on the oh moment. yeah, work it, baby. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, she's she's turned on now. What? You don't remember what a scale is? That gorgeous exoskeleton that just went by? Basically, like the most incredible, awesomest super weapons ever? Lasers, force fields, bipedal and vehicular transformations. Sorry, just... I get so excited whenever I think about it. Yes, I want to use one too. But I bet you it's going to take Originally, a while. Originally, scales were developed as a defensive measure to counter potential alien threats. It wasn't enough to save Earth, though. We were outnumbered and outgunned. 
still. Just look around you. New LA has gone from basically nothing to this in just two short months. We could never have come so far so fast without scale technology. You are currently watching uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X with uh, uh, Nintendo Engineers. I am your host, yeah, Chris Tarsus. For one thing, only blades are allowed to pilot scales. And even then, you need a license. These aren't toys we're talking about. They're complex machines with powerful weapons. And they're a precious resource. We only have so many of them to go around. So yes, as you might imagine, the certification process is a fairly rigorous one. I'm sure you're thinking, where do I sign up for the test? But it's not that simple. They choose you, not the other way around. You can't just walk in the front door and volunteer. There is some criteria. The details are largely hidden, but basically HQ only allows the cream of the crop to take the test. Blades who go above and beyond in their duties and for the people of New LA in general. So what do you say? If you become a blade and work hard, I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time before they tap you on the shoulder. Speaking of work, that reminds me. Why don't we check out the mission control board first? That's where we take on our assignments. Good call. Let's head on over. So this is, um... How far are we doing this at the moment? This is basically our longest uh, YouTube video we've ever done. Um, we're still going to be pushing on uh, at this point, but um, I think my initial thoughts about the game is, has been it's been really incredibly well detailed. Um, the scope is there, the, the detail. This is definitely a game that will, that you could sink your teeth into for at least a couple hundred hours. Uh, I know that some of my friends have rushed to you know, level uh, 10 or 15 or maybe 20. So it's um, really interesting hmm. to see all that stuff. Here we go. So this is mission control. We don't have a dispatch system yet, so Blades usually choose their own assignments. Everyone comes here and selects from the missions available on the board. And it's not just official Blade tasks. Anyone with a request is free to post here. Businesses, citizens, whoever. <coughs> yeah, it's basically how anything gets done in New LA, so the board is constantly updating. Just about every Blade will stop by here at some point in their shift. It's like our second home. You'll always find a number of blades around here, blowing off steam or browsing mission control for their next assignment. Whenever I get freed up, I'll stop here first thing to check for any missions I might be suited for. Likewise. And if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo, that's what the scout console is for. We should show you that next. Hey, who's giving this tour anyway? We also have the scout console if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo. And uh, Elma just said that, didn't she? Hey. hey. Yes? Uh... So if you can hear a little bit of coughing, just um, it's getting a bit late here. Here on Nintendo Engineers, playing this game.
When the going gets tough, the tough go to the scout console. You know, to get tougher. If you do end up joining us, you'll quickly realize just how important this little kiosk is. A lot of the mission control assignments are too much for any one blade to handle. They tend to call for multiple members with specialized knowledge or unique skills. This console lets you search for and recruit other blades to fill those roles for just such an occasion. You can't spell blade without team. Sort of. Anyway, awesome, right? So you're ready to join up? Hang on, Lynn. Take it easy, would you? What? I'm just saying you'd have to be some kind of an idiot not to want to join Blade. Or maybe a crazy person. Oh, and here I thought you might be pressuring our guest. Apology accepted. Now, how about a little shopping? And I'm not talking about the stuff over in the commercial district. I'm talking about Armory Alley. Look at the uh hey. here we go. We just here uh, a little while ago. We call Armory Alley. Blades can requisition equipment from any of the vendors here. I won't lie, most blade members face danger on a daily basis. Having the latest gear isn't about impressing your friends. It's a matter of survival. True enough. And that goes not only for your personal armor and weapons, what we call ground gear, but for skell equipment as well. You can even buy whole skells. <coughs> can you imagine owning your own skell? Oh, it'll be very nice. Uh, huh? Oh, right, the door. I think all that's left is the heart of Blade itself. Blade Tower. Very interesting, isn't it? All the different details. So. Here we are. So yeah, Blade Tower. When we come here, it's usually to stop by Blade HQ. The higher ups, like Secretary Nagi and Commander Vandom, will spend most of their day here. The government leaders too. They're based in the tower. Guys like our new Director General Maurice Chausson, for example. Blade sometimes report to the leadership here after we finish key assignments. You'll want to remember this place. And that about does it for our tour. So, what do you think? Pretty amazing setup, right? You can't wait to join Blade, right? Okay, Lynn, seriously, that's enough. We're not here to make a sales pitch. We just want you to have all the facts so you can make an informed decision to join us, or not. Now that you've seen where and how we work, hopefully it made a good impression, but your decision will be just that, your decision. In any case, let's head back to the barracks. Secretary Nagi will be waiting. Ah! Story mission complete! Got 5,000, um, gold coins? And, uh, 20 of something else, too. We're not too sure. Um, so, pretty good. Are we...
lucky he doesn't get tied up to the running. Because, uh, Careful. Which, uh, be a pain in the butt, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, listen carefully. Back at the Blade Barracks. I guess I'll have to join the Blades. I, I don't think you've got the choice of just saying, well, no, I don't think I'll join up. I think this is the central storyline. Honey, we're home. Yes, very amusing. Who wants a fresh cup of tea? Thank you, Ms. Gu, but I can't stay long. I just wanted to pass along a request from your commanding officer. Commander Vandom? Hmm. Does it have anything to do with our new arrival? Correct. He stopped by while you were out on your tour. He said he'll come back, but that I shouldn't wait to ask you. <laughs> Here we go. I bet I can guess. You probably can. He wants to fast-track our new friend here for blade duty with a training assignment. What in the hell are we waiting for? As he put it. The commander does have a way with words. <laughs> Makes even my pitch sound smooth. I explained about the memory issues, but he didn't see it as a problem. And to be honest, given our current need for blade recruits, I can't say I entirely disagree. Hey, it's not me you need to convince. Blade service is voluntary, remember? Of course. And I would never force or coerce anyone. Well, friend, what do you say? Can we count on you to do your part? <coughs> Let's see what happens if I refuse. Oh, shit. Ms. Ku, how much do you know about life pods? Life pods? You mean like from the White Whale? Yes, those life pods. Like the one Elma, a blade, rescued our friend here from. Emphasis on the word rescued. Because if you aren't released, you just sit there frozen in stasis forever. So did you have an engineering question about life pods? Or is this all part of the guilt trip? I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. Now, what'll it be, friend? I think I might have to go. I knew you'd make the right choice. Welcome to the organization. Elma, he can start on your team. You'll begin training immediately. Yes, Mr. Secretary. With pleasure. All right. Welcome to the Cool Kids Club. All right. Now then. Let's discuss that training assignment. We've decided to start you out on a probe installation, just to get your feet wet. I guess we should back up a bit. Here in New LA, we're using a specialized computer system called FrontierNav to help us deploy a sensor grid across Mira. A network of data probes that allows us to monitor conditions and collect all kinds of information about the planet. Expanding that grid and filling in the blind spots is one of Blade's highest priorities. Here. Take a look at this. What you're seeing on screen is a terrain map that includes New LA and the surrounding landmass. As you can see, we've divided the area into a series of hexagonal blocks. We call these blocks segments. Together, they form our grid. We determined this was the most efficient pathway given the limited range of our probes. 
Based on it, we know exactly where we need the probes to go. Now we just have to install them. The sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. The Frontier Nav probes can also detect the general locations of living things in the vicinity, which comes in handy if we need to track down a blade or another citizen. Yes, quite handy indeed. So for this first exercise, you'll be heading here, to that white segment. Go there, install the data probe, and then come back home. Got it. East of the city. In that case, we can take the east gate out of the administrative district, right? We should be there in no time. I'll leave the details on the data probe installation procedure to you, Elma. Of course, Mr. Secretary. All right, you two. Shall we? Yeah! Training or not, let's go install the hell out of that probe! We're back here. Uh, just put the mic on pause a little bit for you to listen to a bit more of the storyline. We are here, chapter two. So it'll be interesting to see um, how this all turns out. I was pretty much forced to join the blades, and um, the blades do remind me of the uh, man. Am the I blades glad we pulled an Skyrim. assignment to the uh, east of the city this time? Isn't it? It'd be a long walk all the way back over to the west gate. Hold on. Are we even sure the east gate will be open? Last I heard, it was still on lockdown from all the high-level indigen activity. It was, but they just lowered the threat level earlier today. The gates are officially open for business. One of our teams must have gone out there and kicked some furry indigen butt, huh? Seriously? That was you? Cool. I don't think so. Those Grexes we took down were fairly routine. Definitely not something they'd lock both gates over, at least. <laughs> then I take my cool back. But wait a sec. You guys fought Grexes? The two of you? Hey, that's still pretty cool. They've been hassling a lot of teams lately, especially how they hunt in packs and all. Let's not get too excited. Confidence can be good. Overconfidence can be fatal, especially when you're new. Yeah, you're right. But enough talk. We've got our mission to deal with. Let's head out. Roger. That probe isn't going to install itself. Let's get to the east gate, shall we? So on the diff on the uh, the gamepad screen has um, uh, different uh, bits and pieces of information and things like that, which is fantastic. And, uh, I'm very happy. So. This is uh, looking great. So far. East Gate, uh, the landmark has been discovered. We're heading out. We should really use a car.
Now we're back out in the open after quite a fair bit of time. They're either dead or sleeping, those little monsters. Those creatures. What the hell happened here? That happened? Hmm. You don't think that one Sinicula could have killed all these Simias. Unless... Unless... what? This is bad. What's bad? I don't follow you. That Sinicula. It's a tyrant. Huh? But it looks just like any other Sinicula. Think about it. Your typical Simeus is way higher up on the food chain than your typical Sinicula, right? Usually, we'd find one Simeus standing over three or four Sinicula corpses. But here, the tables have been turned. And I don't see a single trace of any other indigens in the area. There's only one explanation. That Sinicula is a tyrant. Let me check the Blade Report database. If there's a tyrant this close to the city, someone must have run across it. Bingo. There was a Sinicula Tyrant sighted not too long ago, but it was a couple of segments further out. It could have followed the blade that spotted it back towards New L.A., and would have come here to feed, or who knows what. That's crazy. I can't believe there's a Tyrant right on our doorstep, and HQ isn't doing a thing about it. Well, don't forget why they sent us here in the first place. Frontier Nam's range is still limited. Oh, right. They couldn't track it if there's no local code. We must have lost it when it went off the grid. It's us what it the is. The tyrant first. designation is given to creatures that pose a special threat in the world. That doesn't always mean raw strength. Some tyrants will actually register as low rank when we find mad in the fields and engage them in combat. But don't let that fool you. If a creature shows up as a tyrant, you can be sure it's got at least one nasty trait or ability to speak of. The system can't account for everything, though, so don't let your guard down, no matter what rank it assigns. Even some of Blade's very best teams have come back with serious injuries after running into a tyrant in the field. If they come back at all. game if you are. Count me in, Elma. Let's do this. If we're gonna settle here on this planet, we're gonna have to get used to dealing with tyrants now and then. We can't just keep running forever, you know? Besides, I'd never forgive myself if someone else ended up getting hurt because we just left it here. All right. Let's do it. But don't push it, okay? Either of you. If we can take it down, great, but if not, even just luring it away would be a moral victory. As long as we buy enough time to install the probe, we can use Frontier Nav to track it or any other tyrant that comes this close to the city from now on. Just make sure you're ready before we attack. I think that this will be tougher than anything the else. Character models look fun. I know they're not the best on consoles. They're not as detailed as other games like Fallout 4 and you know. <laughs> PS4 and Xbox One games. Gear Nuts.
good achievements. Which is, uh, pretty cool. Later on. All right, let's take this thing on. I need to be even stronger. We should be protected. Early burn. They stuck at me. Assault hammer. Shadow strike. Half-life. Nice work, Lynn. You fought well. You did too. Now let's get down to business and install that data probe. All right. If we stay here for long, there's no telling what other playmates might show up. This beam of light indicates a frontier nav site. It marks the ideal spot to bury the probe. Okay, the probe should be ready for insertion. I'll just boot it up. Thanks, Lynn. The top half of the cylinder contains the probe itself. The bottom half is a laser. It dissolves the soil so the probe can burrow to the proper depth. We tried just planting them on the surface at first, but we kept running into problems with the local wildlife damaging the goods. Burying them is going to save us all a lot of time and headaches in the long run. We all set? Yes, we yes, are. Yes, ma'am. Whenever you're ready. Why don't you do the honors? You can launch it right from your comm device. Give it a try. Okay, let's do it. Now we 
just need to give it a minute to reach the target depth. And installation complete. We are now online with a solid connection to Frontier Nav. Excellent. See, at the end of the day, there's really not much to it. The hardest part was calculating the ideal probe locations. We need them spread out evenly to maximize data collection. Yep, planting probes is easy. And the more we plant, the more likely we are to find missing crew. So anytime you see a probe site, there's no excuse not to plant that sucker. That'll do it for your training. Let's head back to the barracks and report to Secretary Nagi. Keep on pushing it. So we're getting closer to um, the two hour mark and uh, we're probably going to clock off around two hours and ten minutes. Just things a little... This is by far our longest video. We wanted to, to do a big launch. Uh, we have gone into this cold turkey and I guess um, I'll continue to play it by myself without the video camera in my way. And then I can... Uh, Sort of work out a bit more about the mechanics of the game because this is not a, a Mario Kart game, let's be honest. This is a lot more in depth. Um, so, a fair bit of reading is uh, required, let's be honest. Oh, it's raining. Ah, oh, I love it. This is it's got a great vibe. It? It's, it's graphics, the music. I'm surprised about the, the music. It's, it's not as um. It's more pop sort of grungy sort of feel than um the original Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles. Here we are. Commander Vandom. Well, now look what the cat dragged in. Sorry we missed you last time. We could have come to meet you at HQ, you know. Indeed. I suggested as much. Twice. And we know how much I enjoy being told what to do. Anyway, I hear you tangled with a tyrant way out of your league. On a training mission, no less. That was reckless and goddamn magnificent. Hey! Hey! Well, I did well. Uh, rewards: mining probe, research probe, and um, mines too. So, Commander, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit here today? Well, I can't just ask Nagi to do everything for me. I'd be out of a job. Hey, I delivered you the new recruit, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you won the bet. Don't worry about it, all right? I'll settle up with you later. You know I'm good for it. The bet? I'm sure I'm needed elsewhere. If you'll all excuse me, Commander. Well, that wasn't obvious at all. Mm. Huh. Look at you two. I swear, you're like two children excited about a new toy. Look who's talking. I don't recall ever seeing you file a request to personally train a rescue before. Is that so odd? It is before we'd even asked him to become a blade, little miss stick in the rear. 
Usually I ask when I don't get your slang expressions, but something tells me to just let that one go. Enough about that. Where are your manners, anyway? I still haven't been introduced to our new recruit here. Commander Vandom is Blade's top officer. In a past life, I was chief engineer on the White Whale. Same idea, basically. Someone has a problem, I fix it. You follow? Sam Stride, not huh. to me. Not much for conversation, are you? Yeah, he's a bit like Link, man. So you still haven't told us why you're here. From the look of things, I'm guessing this isn't a social call. You don't think? No. So let's cut the crap and get down to business. Ha! <laughs> Sounds like you're learning my expressions just fine, Elma. Anyway, first we need Chatty Cathy here to choose a division and pull an assignment. Pretty much everyone in New L.A. works for Blade, in one of several different fields. Helping to explore Mira, or to maintain order in the city, or, well, you remember Nagi's speech, right? There are eight different fields in all, and each one has its own branch within Blade. Officially, they're called divisions. Naturally, you'll want to choose one that best suits your personality and your talents. Ooh, this is interesting. Let's start with the Pathfinders. Oh, this is cool. Pathfinders' number one responsibility is planting data probes, like you did oh, on your training like mission. Fun. How about no? It may not be the sexiest job, yeah. but important? You bet your ass it's important. Oh, my ass. We've only been on Mira two months. We don't know jack about this place. The more probes we install, the faster we can get our bearings here and give ourselves a fighting chance. We've already detailed how important it is we expand the Frontier Nav Network ASAP. So, for the time being, I'll just remind you of the highlights. It helps us keep Blades safe. It helps us keep the city safe. And most important of all, it's the key to locating the missing parts of the life hold and recovering the rest of the human race. This 20 gig game is, is cutscenes. Okay, next up, Interceptors. You met Akaloff and Evans, right? Irina and Gwen, this is their division. Interceptors have one main duty. Protect New L.A. and everyone in it from the wildlife here on Mira. Right now, this is probably our busiest division. Interceptors ride shotgun for the research eggheads. They escort VIPs around, and they help any other idiots who get caught out there with their pants down. Next are the Harriers. Remember Doug Barrett, the scale pilot conducting the test flight with Lynn? Okay. He's part of the Harriers. If you think of the Interceptors as defense, Harriers would be New LA's offense. They specialize in preemptive strikes on clear and obvious threats. But only on clear and obvious threats. They're not meant to go out and just blast any indigen that moves. Oh, and you got your reclaimers. These guys are in charge of finding the other pieces of the white whale. Among other things, that is. Including anything of ours left behind after a battle. Scale debris, weapons, personal effects. It can get a bit morbid, frankly, but it's got to be done. Until we're up and running here on Mira and have this place completely figured out. Everything we brought from Earth needs to be treated like it's irreplaceable. Also, the search for the life hold. That's mostly on the reclaimers. Next, curators. Curators are the first to scout ahead to unexplored territory, bringing back whatever samples they can get their hands on. Fruits, bugs, sticks and stones, you name it. Hmm, the interesting one. It's not all picking berries, though. Being a curator also means being the first to encounter unknown indigents. They can be dangerous. Next? All oh, right, prospectors. Prospectors do, well, prospecting. They poke around, looking for minerals, resources, and whatnot. Things we need for everyday life here. We packed all the essentials we could on the White Whale, but that won't last forever. We need to be able to replenish our water and fuel if we want to survive. 
And sooner or later, we're gonna have to figure out how to replace things from scratch. From the socket on a Skelv's knee joint, right down to the frying pan in Lynn's kitchen. Without these guys busting their butts, we'd have no future to speak of. Next up, Outfitters. All of our ground gear and scale weaponry is developed in conjunction with private arms manufacturers, or AMs. Outfitters are Blade's way of supporting these AMs. They'll seek out anything that might inspire new weapon ideas, and even assist with testing new prototypes. Finally, the Mediators. These are the folks who keep everything hunky-dory with John and Joan Q public. Any problems a civvy has, they come to Mediators. Fight with your neighbor, Mediators. Lost cat, Mediators. It's not a division for everyone. You need to be a jack of all trades and a people person. Someone with my charming personality, probably not the best Mediator. But if you got what it takes, it's a clutch role, keeping things cool on the home front. All right, so I think that's all eight divisions. Any idea which one you'd like to join? Don't fret about it too much. Whichever you choose, you still have a lot of freedom in how you operate. Mediators can still get out there and mix it up, hunt indigens, whatever. And if a Harrier wants to take a break and settle an argument, that's their prerogative, too. Well, I'm being a meteorite. I mean, that could be pretty to interesting. To be honest, even though it's sort of frowned upon, you can actually change your division whenever you like. So there's really no reason to stress about this. All right. You ready to choose? <sighs> Back to this is a hard decision. <laughs> yeah, and we're on pins and needles here. So, Pathfinders, um, let's go into a little bit of detail here. It seems we were crossing the two-hour mark here on our video. Uh, planning database. I, I don't think that's particularly um, fantastic. I, I think the interesting thing would be exploring d different places. Um, defeating enemies and completing missions. That's pretty cool. Uh, range Master. Um, defeating tyrants and defeating enemies. That's pretty cool. The Reclaimers retrieving uh, wreckage and drop sensor, which is cool. Curators collecting things. Yeah, that's interesting. Prospectors, outfitters, and then support. Oh, R&D, but we're just going to do that. <coughs> I either outfit is in that sort of R and D stuff. Then it's settled. All right. Thank God that's over. <laughs> By the power uh, invested in me, yada yada. You're officially a. Yes, two hours. Congrats and welcome. I know you're gonna do great. Yeah, I better do great. I'll be totally awesome. Now for the job. Let's get down to brass tacks. Nelson's team has gone missing. Last contact we had, they were installing a data probe out in Eastern Primordia. Then, nothing. Hmm, Nelson. Pathfinders, right? Are we talking indigens here, or what? Your guess is as good as mine, but they did have a skull with them. You'd think they could hold their own. Or at least run away. All right, we're on it. We'll head to their last known location and go from there. Report whatever you find ASAP. Of course. Let's move out. Roger that. Fast travel! Ah, oh, thank God.
Let's uh, move out of the way now. We've just crossed the two hour mark. Uh, we'd love to go to three hours or four hours, but uh, I think this, this video is already way too long uh, for people to be listening. So, um, it would be wonderful uh, if someone actually did watch the entire two hours or even just kept it in the background while you're, you're doing things and that. Um, let's see what we can do here. Maintenance, which means you cannot use ants. Hey! Ah! Sorry. Do you even lift? You gotta start training those abs and pieces in the next break. Oh my god. Gonna muck around here at this point. Um, uh, fast travel. Oh, have a nice trip, Chris. Ah, fantastic. So it is raining at the moment in uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, let's... There's just so much that can be done here. We've got 26,000 bucks, people, but I don't think we want to be, uh... What the hell's my class? some really high end weapons. So the weapon I've got is rather shit. One, two, three, four.
Sorry. <laughs> Swimsuit top, he's in the loop. So, um, I think we're gonna actually put a, an end to um, this uh, video of Xenoblade Chronicles X. It has been an amazing two hours playing this game. It's been fantastic to be doing this for you guys. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it's extremely long. We, we never do this sort of thing before, but because it's such a big game that's come out, and uh, really wanted to do some gameplay footage for once. We don't do it that often. Uh, we normally do two minute videos of the news or two hours worth of gameplay. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and uh, we shall see you next time on Nintendo Ninja News. And you might see another video on Xeno Play Chronicles. X. It will not be t over two hours. This is a big debut, you can say. But until next time, we shall see you later on. Like, subscribe, comment on it. And um, I hope you enjoy this. Goodbye for now.